Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam. And today we'll be knowing about how the US sales tax uh, is calculated in our NetSuite application and what are the steps that are uh, followed while uh, making the calculations of sales tax. So let's begin. So these are the uh, steps that are in uh, there uh, for the calculation of sales tax. So first we have to create or set, uh, set up the tax code. So uh, we should know about the tax code that are used in the next week. So it, uh, the tax code determines how much tax is applied to each line item on the transactions. It also specifies the valid tax code that are used on the transaction. Along with that, a uh, tax code represent a tax that is uh, calculated uh, from the customers uh, that uh, uh, who are located in the specific area. Then uh, it also uh, defines the tax that is paid to a taxing authority on behalf of the customer. A tax uh, uh, code also defines a tax rate for one location that is to be paid to uh, one uh, tax authority along with that. It also contains a tax that is applied on certain types of transactions. So this is about the tax code. First, we have to create and set up the tax code. The other step is we have to uh, create a tax group and uh, uh, those tax group uh, uh, can contain uh, one tax code or it can contain two or more than two tax codes. So it is a group of uh, tax code that are relevant to a transaction. When we have a uh, set up tax code, we can combine them to create a tax group. So this is the second step. Uh, we have to uh, create a tax group. Then uh, after creating the tax group, we can apply these uh, tax code or I would say these tax uh, group on the transaction. It can be a sales order or invoice and all. Now we will see how uh, how can we create tax code in for the purpose of tax calculation in our NetSuite application. So for that we have to go into setup accounting. Here we have the option of tax code. So these are the various uh, countries that uh, like for which country do we want to create a tax code. So since uh, we are concerned with the U uh, United States, uh, so I'll be selecting this country. Here we have to define the name for the tax code. So I have selected a name for it. Here we can provide the uh, rate. Since the Florida tax rate is 6%, so I have already created, created a tax code. Uh, this is the second one since I want to create a group for it. Now un under the tax type, we have to select. It is on the state level. Subsidy is already selected America. If I check this box, include children. So uh, all the children that are associated with this subsidy America will be uh, using this uh, tax code. The tax agency, the concerned authority that will be responsible for collecting tax, we have to select that. Tax account is already selected by default. That is the sales tax payable account here. If we want to provide the zip codes that is concerned with this uh, Florida so we can uh, provide that. We can also provide a county name, city and state if we want to. And after this, I will click on save. So here we got the confirmation that our uh, tax code has been saved. Now the other step is uh, we have to create a, a tax group that will be uh, that we can use on our transaction. So again, for that, we'll go into setup accounting. Under the tax, we have this option tax group. So these are the various tax group. I'm going to click on new. I will select again. We have to select a country. So here we can provide a name for it. Uh, 
rate you can see is not appearing uh, if we want to provide any description so we can provide it subsidy has already been selected here I will be checking the include children box again if uh, we want to provide any county city or state similar to a tax code so we can provide it we can also mention the zip codes here and uh, here we have to mention the tax code that will be under this tax group used so these are the two you can see that this was the previously one created uh, it is on the uh, state type the other one i will again uh, set i want to uh, select two tax code for here So this is the other one. Click on add. Now you can see the rate that has uh, come uh, over here is six percent. The combination of these two tax code is appearing on onto the tax group rate. Now I will click on save. So our tax group has been saved successfully. Now our next step is how can we apply this uh, tax group onto our transaction? So for that. we have to go into transaction sales create invoices you can see that the uh, custom form is here that is standard progress progress invoice customer name uh, i have already selected we will pro provide a distinct name for it we also we also have to provide the location that is a mandatory field then we have to mention the currency since this uh, uh, customer is concerned with american subsidy so we have to select usd here now if we go down here for selecting item so i will be taking this laptop t49 to mention the amount here that is 5000 now comes a, a tax code we'll be selecting here that one that we have created so this is the tax group tax code you can see uh, that i i have uh, selected the tax code here the tax code uh, tax rate already populated based on the tax code so here you can see if we go down uh, if we go up here uh, towards the summary so this is the sub total and this is the tax total that has come uh, five uh, sorry 6% of 5000 that is 300 and the total amount that is due is uh, 5300 so our uh, tax calculation has been done we have provided the tax code here the tax rate already populated and based on these tax code and tax tax rate the uh tax total has been calculated so now we got the confirmation that our invoice that is invoice underscore 509 has been successfully saved so in this way uh, the tax can be calculated now if we want to see where these numbers are appearing into on to our report so for that we'll go into reports uh, Here we have the sales tax US. We'll go into this sales tax on sales report. It is already for subsidiary America. Period is here. You can see that this is the invoice that we have generated just now. That is five zero nine. The amount of sales and the sorry the amount of invoice and the tax amount that is three hundred is appearing on the on the uh, sales tax on summary report. If I click on this, so it will take us to the invoice page. so this is how we can have uh, the 
calculation of our sales tax in our NetSuite application. First, we have to uh, create a tax code. Then we have to create a tax group since uh, these are the two basic requirements for tax calculation. And then we can apply those uh, tax codes and tax groups on our transaction. It can be invoices or sales order. So that's all about the topic. In case of any uh, questions and uh, queries, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.